Hello, I'm James Parker and I'm the Executive Officer of the London Road Safety Council. And I'm here today to tell you about a campaign that we ran during the summer, uh, helping children to make the transition to secondary schools safely. But before I tell you about it, I want to just say a few words about the London Road Safety Council. We are London's long, uh, oldest road safety organisation, having been established in 1917, but we're still going strong today. And we have uh, amongst our members, uh, elected members from all of the London local authorities, their road safety officers, and also organisations with an interest in road safety, such as Transport for London, the Department of Transport, ROSPA, emergency services, the Bikeability Trust and so forth. And a big reason that we exist today and that we continue to do well is because we provide support to our members. Uh, we lobby uh, agencies on, on their behalf about particular road safety problems. We provide training for members. We provide networking opportunities. And also, more recently, we've developed a, a niche for running campaigns on behalf of our members. Indeed, over the last couple of years, we've run um, two or three social media campaigns. In particular, there was one heads up, phones down that was encouraging all road users not to be distracted by their mobile phones. And last year, we ran one on various um, issues relating to the need to be safe and be seen. But earlier this year, our members asked if we would consider running a campaign that focused on the issues around the transition to secondary school. The reason for this was that, as, as many of you will of course know, that when children make the transition from primary school to secondary school, uh, it's always a, a new route that they're having to, to navigate. And for many of them, it's a longer, more challenging journey to their new school. And perhaps for the first time, they're traveling by themselves. This year, of course, we were particularly aware that um, children have been somewhat cocooned over the last 18 months. Um, many of them have been homeschooled uh, in London. Uh, those that have been going to school have found their primary schools uh, are actually subject to a, a, a school street. So the zone outside their primary school now is, is totally traffic free at the start and end of the school day, which is great, but it's creating rather a, a false environment, and one that they won't find outside their secondary schools. So. For all these reasons, we, we felt that it was important that we run a campaign to help guide them through the maze that uh, was waiting for them in September. And we had 11 London local authorities signed up for this campaign. So they uh, will be referred to as our stakeholders. And our stakeholders met and um, set out the, the various objectives that they, they felt this campaign should aspire to. And uh, we wrote a tender uh, and tendered three companies. And there was uh, a clear winner, Diva Creative, who told us about a campaign that they had in mind for us. It's a jungle out there. So a unanimous decision from the stakeholders that uh, this campaign was one that they wanted us to go with. Now, initially, we had thought that we wanted to run a social media campaign that would um, help the 11 year olds be safe on their new journey to secondary school. But Diva Creative very quickly pointed out to us that actually as young people can't have a, a social media account by law until they're 13, um, we perhaps needed to have a little bit of a rethink. And, and they helped us with that. Uh, and indeed the, the campaign outputs for It's a Jungle Out There are, are listed here. So um, Diva came up with a, a campaign logo. Uh, they also provided a, head, a, a letter a template letter for the road safety officers to send to head teachers that set out details about this issue um, and provided them with copy for their school newsletter so the head teachers could put in uh, an already um, written piece encouraging parents to sit down and have a chat with their children about road safety, rehearse the new route and also have a look um, at a 12-page resource guide that we prepared. The main component of the campaign, though, was for us to um, develop five videos aimed at parents. 
So, as I say, we couldn't direct the social media effort towards young people because they're too young to receive it. So we targeted uh, the parents of, of that age group. Uh, so the category was actually nine to 12 year olds. So the parents of nine to 12 year olds. And we developed five videos that each exhibited different types of behavior that the parents might be familiar with uh, in regards to their young people. And the strap line at the end was, have, sit down and have a chat about road safety before your child sets off to secondary school. And so this social media campaign was run during August and the beginning of September. And it was run on Instagram and Facebook. And the uh, call to action was have a chat about road safety and look at our, our, our website page, because on it you'll find a 12 page resource guide that tells you everything you need to know about planning a new route to help your child get to secondary school safety, whether they're walking, cycling, using public transport or being driven part of the way. Say so the 12 page resource guide I just detailed uh, for you there, but this was a key component. Um, we know that the, the, the makeup of, of, um, of London is a particularly diverse community nowadays, and we can't assume that everybody knows all there is to know about how uh, to cross roads safely and how to cycle safely. So it was a very worthwhile task that we, we performed, I think, produ produ producing this resource guide. Um, and, uh, and we certainly had very good feedback about it. The five social media adverts that we produced, each focused on a different jungle animal. And within the advert, uh, there was behavior that you would relate to that particular animal sort of um, translated into a, uh, a road safety scenario. So the first one we, we did was an armadillo and the armadillo talked about um, in, in this advert we addressed the importance of road safety, um, being careful on the road and not taking risks and we covered traveling to school by bicycle because that's very a very popular mode in London nowadays. The bush baby animation uh, really focused on the distractions that young people can um, fall foul of, in particular their mobile phones. So that was the, uh, the one that the bush baby covered for us. And then we had a uh, hyena and the hyena was up to hijinks all the time. Um, and the parents were encouraged to sit down and have a chat about road safety and to reinforce the importance of behaving sensibly whenever near the roads. And then we had a sloth and this one was uh, really focusing on how you need to be very aware of what's going on about uh, on uh, out and about when, when you're, 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 you're using the roads and um, you know, how important it is to remain focused. And then the final one was the lemur and the lemur talked about the importance of being alert and sensible by the roads. And so let's have a look at one of those adverts now. Let's have a look at the lemur one. When you're ready. Well, yeah, he can be a little bit of a handful at times. Yeah, <laughs> full of beans, this one. Always has been, right, Doc? Yeah, he does get rather distracted. He's a chip off the old block, that one. Hey, remember the time I nearly blew up Yeah, the... yeah, yeah, precisely. But with him being so excitable, we do worry about him getting to his secondary school. It's not just down the road anymore. No. And the way people drive nowadays. Blooming maniacs. So that's why we're going to sit down and remind yeah. him of a few do's and don'ts on the roads. Yeah. Just as soon as we get him down. So the five adverts were shown on Facebook and Instagram over a four week period, halfway through August and beginning of September, because we felt that this was exactly the time that parents should be sitting down and having a chat with their children about road safety. And it would give them time to plan a new 
route to secondary school and actually to rehearse it with their young people. This data now shows you the, uh, the results of our social media effort. So the, um, the effort was made, as I say, on behalf of 11 London local authorities and we had um, 170,000 uh, impressions, which means that the advert showed up on 170,000 uh, people's screens. And out of that number, just over 61,000 viewed the videos. Uh, particularly pleasing was that over 8,500 people not only viewed the videos, but then went on to click on our website page and then looked at our downloadable guide so that they got the information they needed to help their young person. So we're very pleased with this as a, a, an effort because uh, it shows that um, our, our sort of call to action rate that we achieved here was far greater than the, the national average, which um, as you see is 5.06% and I think that 0.9% um, is considered good. So we actually did very well here. In addition, we had um, a big effort put in to achieve press coverage for the campaign and we had uh, a press release that was picked up by 15 regional London newspapers and also the Evening Standard. Uh, that was very pleasing because um, it helped to get the message across to a wider audience and also we were very pleased that um, London Live picked up on this as an interesting news piece and they uh, conducted an interview and we'll just see a little bit of that now. According to new research, up to 28,000 people will get injured on the roads of London this year. Well, James Parker from the London Road Safety Council, uh, who, who are behind this campaign, is here now. Hi, James. Uh, nice to see you. Now, this new campaign, uh, it's a jungle out here. Uh, give us a, a sense of uh, an overview of what this initiative hopes to achieve. At the London Road Safety Council, we're particularly concerned that this year uh, we have a lot of children starting secondary school for the first time. Um, over the last year, of course, it's, it's been a very unusual year and they haven't been able to make their normal journeys to school there, perhaps not as streetwise as they normally would be. But for the majority of them, starting secondary school means that they're embarking on a new, much longer journey at the most dangerous time of the day, the rush hour, in order to get to a new school. And so we're putting out a call to parents to sit down and have a chat with their children about road safety, actually rehearse the route with them so that they're properly prepared for the rigours that they may encounter. Our aim really is that every child gets home safely every day. So that's the purpose of our campaign. So we're currently uh, conducting an evaluation for our campaign. And we're doing this um, as a survey monkey uh, questionnaire via Facebook. So the people who we targeted with the campaign um, videos are now being targeted with, um, with the survey so that they can give us feedback on how useful the videos were and also you know, what, what um, elements of action they took as a result of having seen them. And we're also uh, relying on our stakeholders to gather information back from uh, the parents via secondary school. So we look forward to being able to share that uh, at the end of the month. So that details our campaign, It's a Jungle Out There. We were very pleased with the, uh, the uptake. We were very pleased with the press coverage that we, we, we achieved for it. Um, I mean, that alone uh, totaled apparently a £38,000 £38,000 worth of press coverage, which far exceeds the, the, the price of this campaign. But I suppose the best thing about it is that we now have this as a campaign asset. And, you know, next September, the message that we have uh, within the It's a Jungle Out There campaign is going to be just as robust as it was this year. And so we're looking forward to repeating it on behalf of uh, many of our London local authorities and of course you know this is a message that will translate very well wherever you happen to be in the country so if you like the look of it's a jungle out there and you think you can see potential for it in your own local authority next year then please do get in touch and my details are here
Thank you very much.